it's Lisi, navigating the universe with me. Hi, my Magic Lotus tribe. Let me tell you, it's been a difficult new year for me. Just to give you a quick update, I was in the hospital admitted from like Friday all the way through the new year, which that was really tough for me because New Year's is definitely one of my favorite holidays. And it was just really really trying and I'm not surprised because of everything that's going on astro astrolo astro in the skies <laughs> I'm not surprised and I hope that this video helps you with the correspondence for the new moon in Capricorn as well giving you a little information on the partial solar eclipse So the energies of Capricorn is very grounding. It's an earth element and it's all about um, creating stability and for example, if you have a new business you're working on, having those goals in place and it being the new year as well, implementing those goals. Um, so that you can forecast your year. And if you have been feeling at work that you are just unsettled, you want something new, refreshing, this is a good time to submit those resumes, to try and thinking outside of the box and taking that leap of faith. Um, really taking time to look within and ground yourself and what is it really that you want out of this year it being january the beginning of the year what is it that you want to accomplish what is it that um, is going to catapult you to the next phase in your life solar eclipse this is going to be a partial eclipse everybody's thought on eclipses are different i am going to take a more of a science aspect so we have the sun's energy the moon and earth this like trifecta of energy right so it is for me this first of energy that is going to be reflecting to earth and it's good to on the new moon on the day of the the solar eclipse to harness that energy and whatever you're trying to manifest in your life 
it is a very, I mean, important and essential time for us. Um, biblically, I mean, it just depends on what you believe in. But again, these messages from the heavens, they do have a purpose. There's nothing that happens without purpose in life. So I feel that it energetically, it's definitely on the high scale. So whatever you're trying to manifest, it's just like an abundance of energy that's going to be surging through this week. And especially with the new moon, the solar eclipses that happen on the, the new moons, it's whatever we already know new moons are for manifesting new beginnings new things new projects right so it is i mean whatever you're trying if you're trying to start a business i mean work your magic this weekend on the new moon and i'm telling you whatever you set your intents on it's just it's gonna happen it's gonna happen with this amount of energy that is um transmuting this weekend um, for the new moon in Capricorn and the partial solar eclipse. So that's just a little bit of my personal um, beliefs and what I'm feeling and I'm getting with my intuition. By all means, use your intuition on how you feel and um, definitely journal, look within to really see where you want to see go and go in the next phase in your life is my best advice and recommendations I can give my tribe so once again thank you my tribe for joining me I hope everyone has a wonderful new moon in Capricorn and enjoy the partial solar eclipse and if you have any questions anything that you want to ask me please comment and subscribe below and i will definitely get back to you blessed be